Today we're doing pig in the blankets. Pig in the blanket. And uh, we're going to use our homemade sausage recipe. And we have a comment from Mercer to Life on our breakfast sausage. A shout out to Mercer to Life. Thank you. And uh, please comment. Maybe we'll shout out for you next. So let's get on with this. Uh, we're going to start off with our homemade biscuit recipe. We're going to roll these out. To make our pig the blankets. Yes, you can use canned biscuits, but I prefer to use my own. And uh, there'll be a link below for that as well. Let's roll out four of these. We're not feeding an army today. Sometimes I feel like I am. That's how I got so big. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the butter from sticking, so I keep putting flour on it. I'm trying to roll this out. Got a little bit of a rip. Not that big of a deal. Put some more flour on top of it. You got a whole cup of it, huh? <laughs> That's rolled out thin enough. We don't tear it, get it off. Mm. And keep on rolling. We're going to need to get our sausage in there shortly. Did that one a little better. Guess who wants out? Come on. Our Pomeranian thinks he's the boss. patch it by overlapping a little bit if you need to. So if you get a blowout, patch it. Now we need to take our sausage. And uh, you can use link breakfast sausage if you want or bulk breakfast sausage. I'm going to use bulk and we're going to take this and make link shapes to roll it in. I'll show you how I do that. His Highness, what's that? sausage. Tuck it in a little bit. That's our first one done. Now you can do variations of this and I'm going to show you some of that. Okay, now I'm going to show you some variation. If you have some money, preferably Maybe a little better chopped up than this, but that's that's all right. Whatever you have. Sorry. Whatever you have. 
and then a little bit of cheese. Of course, my point is you can make your own variations on this without too much problem. Whatever your favorite thing is to add with sausage. Peppers, jalapenos. There you go. Especially if your sausage is mild and you want to spice it up a little bit. Yours isn't. It isn't spiced up a little bit? No, your Italian isn't spicy. Tell them where to leave a link for your homemade sausage. There'll be a link below for the homemade sausage, yes. Now this one here is going to be cheese. You turned and your head. Go ahead. And onion. So roll it up. Tuck it in a little bit. Tuck it in a little bit. And there's that one. Put out the cheese. I forgot the cheese. Yes, I did. So about how much sausage are you using here? Uh, I've used a third of a pound to make four of these. That's all? Yep. It's not long like a hot dog. You make it too big and you, your biscuits not got, it's not going to fit in your biscuits. So. Yeah, you want about the size of a... Well, those are a little smaller than a hot dog, aren't they? They're shorter than a hot dog. Shorter than a hot dog. Same length. I mean, same thing, basically, but shorter. If you use hot dogs, they should use more. Yeah, or... Dough. Let them stick out the end, whatever works for you. Tell them where they're going to get the dough. I mean, we're going to do... The link. the link for the biscuit recipe it was below. I already mentioned that. Oh. That's all right. We can mention it again. Sorry. Okay. Please like and subscribe. And comment. That's the camera lady. Doesn't she have a lovely voice? smaller. Yeah, this one's a little smaller. Mine. So a little more than a third of a pound. <laughs> now we're going to refrigerate these shortly just so the butter gets good, nice and cold. Uh, say what, 15 minutes? You can pop them in the freezer for 10, that'll work too. And then we'll pop in the oven and we'll be back to you. Please like and subscribe. And just look at that. Here we go for the taste. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh. You gotta taste that camera lady. Wow. Oh. Oh. Mm. Really good. So sad you can't be here to try it. Mm. But you can make it yourself. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>